Azure Migrate is your one-stop shop for migrating to Azure SQL. Learn how in this episode of Data Exposed. Welcome to this episode of Data Exposed. Today, I'm joined by Raj, a program manager on the Azure SQL team. Raj, thanks for joining us again today. Thank you. Um, and uh, um, let me introduce myself. My name is Raj Pocharaju, and I'm a principal program manager in Azure SQL. And my team's core focus is to develop and manage the, the database migration tools and services that really help you to do a seamless database migration journey from your on-premises SQL servers to Azure SQL. Awesome. Thanks, Raj. We're super excited to have you back on the show to continue our discussion around migration. And in this episode, what we really want to talk about is some of the new capabilities that have recently landed within Azure Migrate. So I'd love to get your take on kind of what's new, uh, and then we'll dive into some other things later. Sounds good. Thanks for asking that, actually, because we are very excited to uh, you know tell you that we recently um, added a new capability into an Azure Migrate service, which has been there for a while. But this new capability really help you to do a SQL Server data estate discovery and as well as assessments at scale and really understand the Azure SQL readiness to begin with. And the, the good thing with this kind of a service is that you know you can really um, scan across your uh, data state for SQL servers and then really find out the specific deployment option uh, on the Azure SQL that really help uh, to migrate with less effort, but at the same time render the performance and, and the high availability needs that you are looking for for your workloads. And at the same time, you know provide you a recommendation which really optimizes your cost as well. So that way you really understand you know uh, which deployment option that I can migrate, which is going to be size of my uh, target uh, database, and then how do I migrate kind of stuff. So it really help you to do that kind of a migration journey. So think about this Azure Migrate as a as a as a single stop, a single shop stop where it really meets all your SQL Server migration needs. Cool. That sounds great. You know, I I'd love to just dive a little deeper into it. Can you tell us uh, how it actually works? Yeah, I think um, let me take a user flow as an example because it's easy to explain that way. So think about you, you're running your environment or the SQL servers on a VMware environment. Um, and then now you really want to migrate to Azure SQL, but you don't know which deployment option is good. Am I going to migrate to you know SQL servers which are running on the VM? Uh, am I going to migrate to managed instance? Um, so you really, you know, if I decide to migrate, what would be the size? You really have a lot of questions in mind that you really want some kind of an answers to take the next step in the migration journey. That's where this really help you. You go on then, you know, provision your Azure Migrate service and then simply download a, a, a template that we provided over there uh, that you can really use the template to provision an appliance machine in your VMware environment. And that will really go and then remotely connect to all your SQL servers and scan across your SQL servers and then really provide you all the insights that you're really looking for in terms of migrating to Azure SQL. And the good news here is that you don't have to install anything on your SQL server machines. You don't need to touch them. We can scan through the remote machine that I talked about, which we call that as an appliance machine. As simple as that, actually. Wow, that's pretty cool. And so Surprisingly simple. Um, really cool, Raj. So thanks for sharing that with us. You know, if you have something, we'd mm -hmm. love to see it in action. Yeah, more than happy to share uh, a demo actually that, um, or maybe how the experience is going to look like to begin with, right? So, like I said, the Azure Migrate service is a fully managed service on the Azure that really help you um, to meet all your migration needs. And in, in this case, uh, it would be the discovery and assessment migrating to Azure SQL, right? Um, so once you log on to the uh, the Azure portal, you need to really look for uh, the Azure Migrate service. Um, you see that my that <clears throat> the service exists in my dashboard because I've been playing around with a lot. But otherwise, if you don't really have that in the dashboard, simply you can type for Azure Migrate, and then that will take you to um, the Azure Migrate service, which I'm going to do that now. <clears throat> right. So you are on the Azure Migrate service here. So like I said, it really provides you. A unified migration experience across your servers, databases, and as well as applications too. So that's how uh, you know 
you don't have to really use multiple services and multiple tools to migrate servers, applications, and databases. This is a single place where it really meets all your migration needs. And that is the goal that we have in, in our mind. Now, my goal here is that I have a VMware SQL servers. Now, I really want to go and then discover it first and then assess before even migrate, right? Uh, so for that reason, I'm going to use this option, discover and assess and, uh, uh, and migrate. Um, here, you see that my dashboard already has discovered some servers and also find out some SQL Server instances and everything. It's because that I already did the discover and assessment using this migration project. But otherwise, your very first step would be uh, once you get to the services that you have to create a migration project first. Um, so let me show you how that create experience is going to look like. Actually, it's pretty simple. Um, so you just need to pick a subscription where you really want to create your, your project and then provide a resource group information where we can keep all those resources that are ne needed for that project in that kind of a resource group. Either you create a new one or you can really pick one of those existing already. And then you just simply give a, <clears throat> a project name and then you also select a specific region, geographical location, where you want to really create your migration project so that we can start uploading the, the data collected, the discovery data, and as well as the assessment information into that particular geographical location. And then you just hit a Create button. So as simple as that. Once the project is created, you come back to the screen, and then the next step is that you want to start discovering your SQL Server environments, right? So for that reason, you just uh, click a Discovery option here. And then there are like four steps that you see here. The very first step is that you need to really tell us where your environment is sitting right now in the on-prem. Either it is hosted on the VMware environment or you have virtualized your SQL servers in the on-prem using the Hyper-V technology or they're just bare metal maybe. Um, or they might be running in other clouds like AWS and GCP kind of stuff. Now you want to really uh, want to understand what it really takes to migrate to Azure SQL kind of stuff, right? So in this case, it's a VMware environment. And then like I remember in the previous slide, I talked about the appliance where you need to download an appliance um, right. to do that. It's pretty easy, actually. Um, so we give you a dot VOA file that think about that as a template file that you can use and download your on-premises VMware environment and then just use that to provision. When you provision that, you don't have to do anything beyond that point, just provision that VM. It has all the software that is really required for us to do the discovery and as well as the assessment so that's a that's a good thing you don't have to work on that but otherwise you know if you already have a vm you just want to leverage that vm rather than provisioning a new one then simply you can download this zip file which contains uh, the software that is really required for you to enable the discovery and assessment so it's it's your choice how do you want to do it uh, but it's pretty simple once you do that then you log on to a maybe rdp into our remote desktop into that uh, appliance machine and then you start configuring it. At that point of time, you need to use a project key so that the project key provides a, uh, a, a, a link between an appliance and as well as the Azure Migrate project that you just created. And then you just start discovery after that, right? Cool, seems pretty simple. Yeah, so once the discovery is done, now you start seeing the data comes over here and quickly take you to the discovery output as well here. So these are the number of discovered servers that you can see um, all across your servers here. And, uh, and all you can see, the actual, in, in this case, I really want to examine the SQL servers to begin with. Um, and these are the SQL servers. And we provide a lot of information um, that, that we discovered out of those SQL servers. For example, you know, we, we, uh, we, we collect all the inventory in terms of the programs um, wow. that are being installed. Yeah, it, it is everything that has been running on that server. You can get all that list here. Um, and then more importantly, we also tell you the number of SQL servers that have been host, hosted, SQL server instances hosted on that box. So for example, if I click in one of those, then you, we even take you into much deeper uh, view there. We give you the specific uh, instance names and the specific um, version that the instance is running on and the edition that is running on so that you have some kind of good idea what is really running there. And then we also give you the databases information as well, um, you know, which databases are running on it, what would be their size, what's the status of those application databases kind of stuff. Um, and then and then we also tell you whether it whether the SQL instance is, is configured as a failover cluster instance or any availability groups are installed and all the stuff. So uh, it's very rich discovery and we keep on adding more discovery uh, uh, you know insights into these uh, um, into this uh, view as we uh, go to the next uh, set of updates to the service to begin with, right? 
once the discovery is done the next step is you perform an assessment and and doing an assessment is also a simple thing just you go to the assessment tab here and then pick that you want to do a azure sql assessment to begin with and then and then you just give a name to it um, and as well as you know you can either use the default properties of the assessment or you can really customize as well for example if you want to bring um, some kind of a you know um, licenses uh, that you might already have to um, um, to Azure SQL, then you can also say that, you know, apply my hybrid license benefits, or if you did a reserved uh, capacity, then you can do one year, three years kind of stuff. You can customize this view so that you can really cater those recommendations to you. So that's that's easy to create an assessment. Once the assessment is created, then let me show you the, the specific assessment results as well, um, so, that, so that you understand how this assessment really help you to find the readiness. So on the very high end of our view, we will tell you what Microsoft is really recommending you based on your feature compatibility and as well as schema compatibility. And then we also look at your performance information as well. Um, and then we really try to match with the various deployment options, queues and tiers that exist on the Azure side. And then this is what really Microsoft is recommending to you to migrate. For example, out of all those 248 SQL Server instances, it is telling you to migrate, um, you know, 187 SQL servers migrate into the manager instance. And there is only one we recommend you to go to SQL DB and rest, uh, you can migrate to the VMs as well. So that's kind of recommendation that we provide to you so that uh, we make your decision making easy by, by giving you the deployment option so that you don't have to do permutations and combinations. And then once you go with these Microsoft recommendations, then we also give you how much it is going to cost for you uh, to migrate to the Azure SQL. That is in terms of compute and as well as in terms of the storage um, costs as well, so that you really understand um, how much it is going to cost you on a monthly basis, um, which caters to the licensing benefits that you are uh, you are bringing into it. So that we include your licensing benefits as well that you provided in your configuration section of the assessment. We, we give you those uh, benefits as well there. Yeah, this makes a lot of sense because yeah. you're assessing not only like what am I ready to go to, but you're yep. also assessing my performance and how that translates yep. to various various SKUs in Azure SQL. And then how much is that going to cost based on, based on how I want to pay for this basically or what I already have. So it's really useful stuff, Raj. Yeah, no, that's very good. Um, so if you are a decision maker, then you can go to the previous screen and then get the summary view. But, uh, you know, think about I'm a, uh, I'm a business, uh, I'm a, you know, LOB application owner, for example, and I'm responsible for migrating my own SQL Server to begin with. And at that point of time, you can further drill down into a specific SQL Server as well. For each of those SQL Servers, we tell you whether it is ready for SQL DB or not, whether it is ready for MI. In this case, if it is ready for both, then Microsoft also recommends you a specific deployment option to you. That's the beauty of this, actually. Though it is ready wow. for both, you know, we think that you should migrate to manage an instance that meets your performance and high availability, and at the same time, with an optimizer cost, right? Um, so we balance that approach. And then we also give you the recommended SKU as well. For example, let's examine this guy to see what is a Microsoft recommendation. I'm sorry, I'll go here. Uh, so, like I said, it is ready for both, but we recommend you to go to MI. Uh, the reason is that, um, you know, we provide some reasoning why we recommend you to go to uh, manage instance by looking at your uh, your performance compatibility and then match a, a balance between a performance and cost um, kind of algorithm that is built into the system. And we look into a lot of factors like your CPU usage, memory usage, your IOPS that are needed that we need to support when you migrate to the Azure SQL and all that stuff, right? So. For example, if you look at um, you know specific instance um, which is not ready, for example, um, I'll take uh, this one. So the instance to 2014 SQL, which is not mm -hmm. ready for SQL DB, but it is ready for uh, managed instance. And in this case, the addition is very easy, like SQL MI, right? Right. But if you really want to understand why it is not ready for uh, uh, for the um, for the SQL DB, then you can you can also find that as well. For example, you click on this. Um, it will tell you the specific blockers. It is not ready for SQL DB, so I click on that. It will give you to uh, the details where you know there is a TP CC database, which kind of using a service broker feature that is not supported uh -huh. on the SQL DB, but it is supported on the managed instance, as you know, Anna. So that way you can even go deep into why I am not SQL DB, why I am SQL MI. If you have any of those questions, then you can get to that kind of a detail as well. So that's how 
this really report really help you to take the decision you know where which deployment option you want to migrate it also help you the specific tier and skew that you can migrate and more than anything else it also gives you a monthly estimate so that you have everything that you need uh, to to start your migration journey as a matter of fact awesome well thanks raj i think mm -hmm. you've really shown us today how this really can be your one-stop shop for figuring yep. out yep. how to migrate uh to azure sql as we close out do you have any final tips for viewers on who are just maybe getting started with this yeah so basically you know i know migration taking a migration journey is a you think it is a complex um uh, you know journey yes it is complex but microsoft is there to help you to support your migration journey either through the tools and services or we we also have the engineering white glove uh, programs that we offer for the customers to unblock your complex migrations uh, so you're not alone out there microsoft is there to support you just reaches reaches uh, reach to us actually in case if you really need any help on your migration journey to azure sql awesome great well thanks so much raj uh, for our viewers thanks for joining we will put a few links uh, to various resources for you in the description so be sure to check those out um, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a like, comment, and let us know what you think of Azure Migrate. And we hope to see you next time on Data Exposed.